Week ending Sunday the 20th of May. Reflections on last objectives. Process with training facilitators that started to happen. Um, I'll talk later but I've met a few people around that. Um, and developing the template to reflect the process, the reflection process better. Okay, so I my activities last week were, um, let's have a quick look here. Uh, activities, so I spoke to Pablo, I spoke to Becky, I spoke to May, and I spoke to Sarah about possible training. Um, May and Sarah are very likely to want to sort of jump on board and do the Bonobo experience training so that I can step back and observe, so that's something that's interesting. The other two are, um, are interested, but at the moment are currently quite busy. Um, I spoke to Viv, um, showed the video form and the video and I got good feedback on that and um, I was told to get in touch with Richie um, about how to collect data for my workshops so I've sent Richie an email around that. Um, Viv also explained that um, there were some things that um, I could refine with this process and um, I'm going to show Caroline that email on Wednesday uh, tomorrow um, regarding that. My friend George, he um, has suggested that it'd be really good to test different methods of business models that I could use for the Bonobo experience. So instead of sort of going down one avenue, I can sort of test various different ones and not bring that into the project too. So that that be something that uh, is ongoing. Um, and I also spoke to a friend, a person called Richard, who previously went on to a Bonobo Experience workshop. Um, and he, I saw him this weekend and he said that it transformed him at the time because he was really going through some quite difficult grief. Um, and after he did the workshop, it really enabled him to move on. And it was really an impactful bit of feedback for me and knew that it made me know that I'm on the right track here. Um, and he's going to connect me up with a friend of his that um, does festival programming, does all the um, cultural programming for a lot of festivals and also has links to the Welcome Trust. So that's really interesting. I spoke to Molly. Molly's um, a funder uh, who I met on the module project I might have talked previously. She's going to look into funding from the Welcome Trust also, which is going to be exciting. Um, my challenges for the week was focusing on getting the right data on this sheet. So a lot of the a lot of these questions are a bit vague. So um, challenges of the week, uncertainties, struggles, breakthroughs, personal developments. They're good questions, but I'm being quite vague and like overwhelmed by software, no money, struggles. Um, clearing my head to focus you know so they're not really directed at the project but more about kind of how I'm working which is probably more sort of the meta cognition area which I've began using mind maps so that's really good so challenges for the week yeah as I said focusing on getting this right and having it not just being descriptive but more analytical but fitting that into this area at the top because it says reflections on last objectives so is that me talking about last week or is this me talking about progress for this week um, and then a good breakthrough for me was I realised I think really well in the shower I know it's ridiculous and um, the Helios Centre is a centre for people, it's a treatment centre um, and I'm going there tomorrow to speak about the Bonobo work and possibly do some body work there. So I'm, I'm trying to get these videos into sort of five minutes, so I've got 30 seconds left um, and I guess I'd like to say that this process seems to work really well for me. What I'm doing is I'm collecting all the data on the sheet. So this is from for the for the week, and then I'm condensing that into a script. So it's not a ramble there. 
I'm condensing it into a script and then when I've condensed it into a script I deliver it to you and then I attach both of these together and assign them to this video. So that's it from me. Thank you very much. Bye.